Hello students, I hope you are preparation for the upcoming CUT exam that is scheduled to be held in 2024 March is going top notch and to help you with the preparation we at AgriVision for you are here to help you with the previous year questions just to make you aware about the pattern and the format in which the questions are being asked in the CUT exam. We have already posted the part one and part two. If you have not watched till yet, then you please cover with that portion and we have discussed around 16 questions till now and in the part three we'll be discussing the next eight questions. I am Divyanshu Gupta, your mentor for MSC. MSC Food Science and Technology. Then coming straight away to the first question, which of the following value provides the information about the degree of unsaturation of oil and fat? So see, I have already covered this topic in the class and degree of unsaturation refers to the how much of the double bonds are there in your oils and fats. So iodine value is the answer straight away direct question for this. And uh, many of you have done the practical also for this in your laboratory. So this is the correct answer for this question. Coming to the next question, the time in minutes required to reduce the microorganisms by specific number of log cycles is called. So as I told you, the thermal dead time curve, TDT curve is very important for the exam and you need to make sure that you are very well thorough with all the values and their definitions. So for this question, your F value is the answer. That is your time required in minutes to reduce the microorganism by specific number of life cycles. It is a very direct question and straight up you can mark the F value as the answer. Coming to the next question, we have what is the pH range of PSE meat? So as I told when we were discussing about animal products in the class, PSA is pale, soft, extruded. So this is one of the uh, qualities of your spoiled meat and they have asked about the pH of your PSC meat. So it is 5.5 to 5.7, which is your first part as the answer. So straight away you can mark this as the answer. Coming to the next question. We have marbling in meat cuts is ascribed mainly to. So what is marbling? It is not at all related to your actual marble, but it is related to somewhat uh, similar in appearance to your meat and it is usually found in pork meat because it is high in fat content. So it is related to your intramuscular which happens when the fat layers between the muscles is so well in a so well described in a particular pattern that it forms a pattern similar to your marble and that is called a marbling in meat cuts and it is usually because of your intramuscular fat so your b part is the answer for this question this question was also asked in cut 2022 then coming to the next question we have which of the following is an example of non-climatic fruits so we all know climatic and non-climatic fruits these are very important topic and can be asked in exam then climatic fruits are those which continue to respire even after they are harvested and they continue to release ethylene gas but non-climatic fruits are non-respiring so banana peach and pear these all fruits continue to respire even after they are harvested so these three are your climatic fruits so pineapple comes out as your non climatic fruits and we in real life found that pineapple has a considerable good shelf life so that can also be one of the methods by which you can analyze the fruits which have a shorter shelf life they are known to be climatic in nature and the fruits which have a considerable longer shelf life they are non climatic fruits then coming to the next question which value of water activity for pure water so what is water activity which is referred to as aw it is the amount of free water which is present in your food so what is actually the free water it is the water which is not bounded that is available for microbial action and all the water except which is available for um, microbial action is known as your bound water and you only can remove the free water from that food product if you are going for drying and dehydration then it is also referred to as the vapor pressure of pure water uh, at the denominator and vapor pressure of the water in the food at the numerator that is your p by p naught then one is the optimum value its scale is from 0 to 1 and 0 below 0 0.8 it is advised that the food will have a considerable good shelf life so one is the answer for water activity for pure water so a part is the answer for this question this was also asked in cut 2022 then coming to the next question which commercial source of tar starch is characterized by the largest granule size so this question you may not have covered in in the class and it may not be in the notes also so straight away i'm asking uh, i'm telling you the answer for this question potato because potato starch has the largest granule size he, this topic may not be covered in many of the reference books also but you need to bear about this topic the thing is but Potato starch has the largest granule size and maize, rice and wheat starch are comparatively smaller in size. Then coming to the next question, which of the following enzymes is a liquefying enzyme? So liquefying enzymes are those which will liquefy the food. So alpha amylase, which is also known as your starch degrading enzyme, starch degrading enzyme. 
this is the answer for this question alpha myelase is the starch degrading enzyme and it's also known as your liquefying enzyme so this was all for the part 3 and i hope you enjoyed and you got clear explanation of all the questions which was asked in the exam stay connected for part 4 we'll be soon posting the part 4 of the video in which we'll be discussing the next eight questions from the cut 2022 so i hope your preparations are helpful in this video and uh, if in case we are trying to help you so you may subscribe to the channel and you stay connected for further videos and also we are soon uh, launching our crash course for the exam then you may join for a better explanation of all the topics and that will be helpful for your upcoming cut exam in case of any queries you may comment down your queries and i'll be very reluctant to answer all of your queries thank you and uh, we'll meet again in the part 4